Hello students, let's continue our journey through linear equations in one variable. Today, we will discuss some applications of solving a linear equation by the cross-multiplication method. Harry and Jenny are thick friends. The ratio of their present ages is 4 is to 5. Eight years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. Find their present ages. The ratio of their present ages equals 4 is to 5. So, the ages are constant multiple of 4 and 5. If the constant multiple is x, then the ages are 4x and 5x respectively. Let's take the present age of Harry and Jenny as 4x years and 5x years respectively. After 8 years, Harry's age is 4x plus 8 years and Jenny's age is 5x plus 8 years. But given that, the ratio of their ages after 8 years will be 5 is to 6. The ratio of their present ages equals 4 is to 5. Let's take the present age of Harry and Jenny as 4x years and 5x years respectively. After 8 years, Harry's age is 4x plus 8 years and Jenny's age is 5x plus 8 years. The ratio of ages after 8 years is 5 is to 6. Or it can be written as 4x plus 8 is to 5x plus 8 equals 5 is to 6. 4x plus 8 divided by 5x plus 8 equals 5 by 6. Cross multiplying. 6 multiplied by 4x plus 8 equals 5 multiplied by 5x plus 8. Twenty four x plus forty eight equals twenty five x plus forty. Transposing like terms, we get twenty four x minus twenty five x equals forty minus forty eight minus x equals minus eight. Transposing minus one to IHS. That is x equals minus eight divided by minus one x equals 8. We have to find the present age of Harry and Jenny. So present age of Harry is 4x equals 4 multiplied by 8 equals 32 years. The present age of Jenny is 5x equals 5 multiplied by 8 equals 40 years. Let's take another example. Two numbers are such that the ratio between them is 3 is to 5. If each is increased by 10, the ratio between the new numbers so formed is 5 is to 7. Find the original numbers. Given that the ratio between the numbers is 3 is to 5. So, the numbers are constant multiple of 3 and 5. If the constant multiple is x, then the numbers are 3x and 5x respectively. So let's take the numbers as 3x and 5x. If each number is increased by 10, then the new numbers are 3x plus 10 and 5x plus 10. Also given that the ratio between new numbers is 5 is to 7. That is, 3x plus 10 is to 5x plus 10 equals 5 is to 7. 
3x plus 10 divided by 5x plus 10 equals 5 by 7. Cross multiplying, we get 7 multiplied by 3x plus 10 equals 5 multiplied by 5x plus 10. 21x plus 70 equals 25x plus 50. Transposing like terms we get 21x minus 25x equals 50 minus 70. Minus 4x equals minus 20. Transposing minus 4 to IHS. X equals minus 20 divided by minus 4. X equals 5. We have to find the original numbers. Therefore, the original numbers are 3x equals 3 multiplied by 5 equals 15 and 5x equals 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25. Before winding up let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. The numerator of a rational number is 3 less than the denominator. If the denominator is increased by 5 and the numerator by 2, we get the rational number 1 by 2. Find the rational number. That's all about the chapter, linear equations in one variable. From this, we understood that linear equations play an important role in our daily life. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.